so here we have our Lumi customer portal. All right, so here you can see all of your available integrations. And we're going to configure a response integration. So we'll click on response, and we're going to go down to FortiGate. So we're going to click on add here. And now you see, you know, your FortiGate, FortiGate screen. It gives you some information about it. Um, and just something to keep in mind is that once you add this integration, um, it's going to update it with the adversaries detected in the last 30 days. Now, let's go ahead and activate, give it a description here. So we can go my FortiGate integration. Next thing you're going to want to do is select the different threat types that you want to include in that blocking process, right? So, you know, you probably want to include them all, but you have the choice to include some. So you can go malware, C to C, spam. Other thing that you can do here, um, another feature that we have with Fort FortiGate here is that you can generate automatically a block list of IP addresses as well. And now what you see here is you have an integration ID, you have your domains and URL. The second link that you have there is the IP addresses field. So now what we're going to do is access our FortiGate firewall environment and log in. And the first thing that we're going to do is access our security fabric tab. Now with that security fabric tab, we go to external connectors. Click there. And now what we're going to do is add a new external collector. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to activate that domains and URL list. And where the, the section where you do that is here where it says 40 guard ca category. So again, we go ahead, give it a name. And then also copy our URL. Now let's just, let's name it. Now we put the URL of the that was provided in the portal. And then for HTTP, we don't really need that. So we can deactivate that. And then the refresh rate, um, we generally recommend 30 minutes. It's up to your organization, but this is um, sort of best practice. But again, according to your needs, really. Um, in the comment there, you can just kind of put the same as the name for now, for this example. Um, and the status, we want to make sure that's enabled. So we leave that green we leave that as it is as you see it there and then we select okay now moving on we're also going to have to create an ip list so because remember those two were separate we had the two kind of separate protocols there um, so what we'll do is click on ip addresses here now that we're here we'll give it a name we'll also get our url from the portal so we're going to copy copy that and we're going to go ahead and paste it in here. And HTTP, again, we can go ahead and disable that. And then we're going to set this time to 30 minutes as well so that we're the same. Uh, for comments, again, we can just enter the same name as uh, the name we gave it and click on OK.